Hey guys, it's Logan again. Welcome back to another tutorial on creating a Spelunky-like room generator in GameMaker. So in this video, we're going to be loading in our strings for our maps or our string representations for our sections. And uh, hopefully we can actually get to uh, finish creating an entire map out of random sections. So the first thing that we're going to do is store these strings inside of uh, GameMaker scripts. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a folder. I'm gonna call it, uh, let me load something up. Okay, let me call it, um, let's see. We'll call it section, uh, let's see. Gen let's call it just room generator sections. This is gonna handle kind of our sections. I wanna put it above our template saver because that's something completely different. And, <clears throat> Now let's make uh, three different scripts that hold uh, our three different types of sections. If you want to extend this and have dip more types of sections, so right now we just have a uh, ones, twos, and threes, or uh, left, right, bottom, left, top, right, or left, right. Those are our three sections we're working with now. If you want to extend that, you just add another script, and I'll show you how to do this three times. So uh, it's really simple. So we're going to add a script uh, under room generate, generator section um, maybe room section generator for our uh, <laughs> section generator for our uh, resource tree folder and then the script name uh, let's do <clears throat> initialize because uh, this is going to be called and to uh, store our string values into um, store our string values into memory basically, so our room string representations into memory. So we're gonna use initialize uh, LBR um, sections. So left, bottom, right is how I'm doing, a, is what LBR means to me. And then I'm gonna create another one, call it initialize left, or LTR sections, that's our left, top, right. And then I'm gonna create another script and name it initialize uh, LR sections. And there's not gonna be much code in these, so don't, don't freak out. Uh, we're making three scripts right away. There's gonna be literally like two lines of code as of now. So um, LBR sections, LTR, okay, that'll work for now. Okay, so let's go to our LBR sections. Now, what are we gonna do here? Well, we're just going to store our strings into memory and we're gonna be using lists. So we're gonna do something like ds um, list add, uh, and then we're going to add, pick a list to add from. And if you don't know what lists are, uh, read up on the documentation, hover over this and hit F1. It's basically an array, a one dimensional array that uh, has some built in stuff. So let's say you had an array of, uh, different rooms and you wanted to shuffle that array, you'd have to write an, a function to shuffle all the elements in that array to get them in different orders. Well, uh, using a list, they kind of add that functionality for us. We can just use ds list shuffle and it will shuffle the entire thing. We don't have to write anything else. Uh, also, we can, it, it's dynamic, so it's automatically kind of allo uh allocates memory when we want to increase our list size when you're using an array. GameMaker does this for you when you're using an array as well, but uh, when you use other languages underneath the surface, um, basically it is harder, it's harder than just uh, adding an element into the array. I don't know exactly how to explain it here, but list gives us more functionality than an, a, an original array. And if we want to add something uh, to the array, we could just use DS list add just like this. And it's that simple. And then we give it our um, list name, which we haven't created yet, but uh, I wanted to show you why we're gonna be creating lists first. And then we'd put the ID of the list here. So list ID, we'll go here, we're gonna change that in a moment. And then we give it a value and this will be our string. Uh, so this value is gonna be our string for our rooms. This is gonna be our uh, room string that we have stored in a, as a file on our computer currently from our last video. So this is going to store one of our rooms into this list. All right, so before we can do that, we need to initialize, um, we need to initialize our different lists. So let's create a new uh, script under room section generator. So we're gonna do another new script and we're just gonna name this 
um, initialize all sections. And this is gonna be up top. This is gonna be the one that calls all these other ones, okay? So we're, we're just gonna call this script and it's going to call all these other ones that we need. So first we need to create our lists, right? And we can do this by uh, just giving variable names. So we're gonna use, um, let's use section left right list equals ds list create. That's simple to create a list. And I'm just gonna copy and paste that. Uh, let me give you guys, increase our text size, and I'm gonna maximize this. So remember, we're in our initialize all sections. And I did section left, right list equals DS list to create. So we've now created a list that we can reference by using section left, right list. And let's do section left, bottom, right list to correspond to our BTR, or uh, LBR, I mean. So LBR, you can actually name this LBR list if you want, if you don't want this really long name. I know it's a long name. Uh, I tend to use long descriptive names. And then let's use section left, section left top right list. And this will be our final list. And what's it equal? It equals DS list create, which will create us a list and return an ID uh, so we can reference that list. All right. so. I'm gonna go ahead and comment this. Uh, initialize our lists for the different template types we have, okay? And that's all this is doing is, uh, these are our different template types that we created using our rooms. So we have our section templates. We have left, right, left, top, right, left, bottom, right. Maybe you could have shops. Maybe you could have a, you, you could have a zero list uh, with those. You could have separate rooms that are represented by those zeros uh, in our uh, main path algorithm that we wrote. There's a bunch of zeros. You, you could have separate rooms for that and have a list that contains many of those rooms as well. And then you could pick one of those random rooms to spawn inside of your uh, full level. So. We've created these three uh, lists that will house the strings for our various types of um, uh, types of templates. And next, we need to call our initialize LBR, initialize LTR, initialize LR. The reason we're putting these in separate scripts is because if you have ten different templates for your LBR, uh, that could take up quite a bit of space uh, when you're adding these. So. All we're going to do is do. Uh, we're just going to call all of those scripts. Initialize. LBR, I just used IntelliSense to find these, initialize LR, and initialize LTR. That's all I'm doing. And this is going to store our uh, template. Wait, let's do string representations for our templates in our new lists, okay? And we're, that's when we're gonna use uh, DS list add, so we're gonna add values to these lists, okay? So let's go ahead and, um, let's see, I think, yeah, I think that's all we have to do. So let's go into our LBR script, and this is where we did our DS list add, and let's change the ID to what we just created. So what did we name it? We named it, uh, we're under LBR, we named it left, bottom, right list. Section, left, bottom, right list. So that's what we're gonna put here. Section, left, bottom, right list. And that's the ID that we want to add a value to for our list. And then I'm gonna skip a line because uh, our string is gonna be quite long. So we're gonna delete in between these quotations and you're gonna find the files on your computer that you previously, from the previous video, stored. Um, the text files as. So let's go to those text files. And I gotta find mine here, level chunks. Okay, uh, I'm gonna keep this up, I guess. And we have, we're doing left bottom right list. So let's open our left bottom right one text, text file. And I'm just going to copy and paste what's in there in between our quotations, just like that. And you're done. You've now added your first template to your list. We're gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna copy paste, but we're gonna change the value that we're adding. 
to our second map. So I'm gonna open up my next text, which is LBR underscore two. I'm gonna copy, and then I'm gonna paste between these quotation marks once more. And now we've added both of these maps to our list. We can actually delete these files at this point. So I could actually delete those because we don't need them. You could actually make a system where these would be stored in a, a local uh, folder and then your game could load it from a text file which would save memory uh, just a little bit. So you could actually select from random text files but uh, Game Maker's kind of file directory system is a bit weird and this seems to work best. And this isn't a super long string that's gonna eat up your memory too much unless you have hundreds of these. So don't worry about it. And so now we're done with our LBR uh, script. And as you could see, you would do this for any templates you wanted to create. You could have 30, 40 of these templates and have, I mean, I think Spelunky has between 12 to 15 or something for each type of room. So you could have as many as you wanted though. All right, so I'm just gonna close that and we're gonna go to our next one, LTR sections. And I'm gonna open up our LTR uh, save files. Actually, I'm gonna paste Oh, wait, I can't paste it in. We're just gonna use ds list add again. So let's do ds underscore list underscore add. And what are we adding it to? Well, our section uh, left, and here's IntelliSense, uh, left top right list is our ID. And then I'm gonna do a space to get under here so we don't extend past our border. Uh, clean it up a little bit. I'm gonna add my two quotations and then uh, my semicolon at the end. So now I'm gonna open up my LTR text file. I'm gonna copy and paste that value in here. And then I'm gonna copy paste this entire line as I did before. All right, and I'm gonna open up my second LTR room. Copy paste that. I'm using Control C and then Control V to paste. Control C to copy, Control V to paste. And we have our two different rooms saved in this list now and we can hit escape. I'm actually gonna delete these files, LTR, so we don't actually click them and uh, re-import them. And uh, now we just need our LR section. So again, if you don't wanna have to go over here to the tree and open this, you can actually click your LR sections uh, script here and then hit F1 and it will actually open it, uh, the script you're hovering over. So <clears throat> we're gonna do the same thing. I'm actually gonna paste, oh, again, I can't do that. Thought I had my DS list thing. Uh, Made. I'm just gonna go ahead and copy LR1 and then I'm gonna write my DS list add. And then this is gonna be our section. And then, well, IntelliSense will pop up our left right list. Then we're going to do our quotations. And in between our quotations, I hit Control V and we have our left right room spawned in. And next, I'm gonna just go ahead and delete LR1 and open up LR2. Uh, I'm gonna copy DS list add first so we don't have to type it out again. Delete my between the quotations, then copy my ones and zeros, and it's in your game. And after you get this completed, I'm gonna just go ahead and delete that file out of uh, our folder and because they're all imported at this point, and we are finished with importing our current templates right now. Awesome, so now we have created our list, we've added the strings to the list that we wanna find, and we've initialized our sections. So now we can grab random values from those lists. Awesome, so let's get into how we are actually going to spawn our level. Okay, so this, should I save this for the next video? Let's see where we're at on time. Hmm, think, 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 let's see. Um, I'll save this for the next video. So we have our uh, all sections spawned in right here. And then uh, we've loaded in our strings and I'll go ahead and let you, if you want, you can make more templates. So you could just, uh, if you delete deleted those previous ones and you've already uh, loaded these in to Game Maker scripts, you don't have to delete the rooms, just go through and change the rooms a little bit and then uh, re-export using the method we learned in the last video and keep importing. You can import as many of these as many of these as you want and when we come in the next video when we start loading them randomly the code isn't going to change at all so no matter how many of these you have the code's going to stay the same okay and you might even uh, which I'm going to go over later but if you would like 
you could add another object, uh, like a ladder object. And then under the um, encode template to string script, you could add uh, a new case. This is all you'd have to change. A new case, oops, new case O ladder, and then just give it a unique uh, value for the string to add. And that's all you'll have to change. And uh, you'll just have to change one thing when we actually go to recreate our level from the string, uh, but it's the exact same as this basically. So uh, you could do that if you'd like, um, add whatever you want. So yep, that's gonna be it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. And if you learned or enjoyed it, uh, please like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.